Hey everyone, what's going on and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the Transformers Studio Series Core Class Concept Art Decepticon Rumble. That's something I want to be saying because now Studio Series is doing concept art. That's crazy. I, I need that Megatron. I, yeah. <laughs> but um, here he is. And before we take a look at the figure itself, we're going to take a look at his packaging right here. So, standard Core Class packaging, you know. You got... Uh, Transformers, Bumblebee, Studio Series, Concept Art, Decepticon, Rumble, Transformers, Hasbro, Decepticon logo there. On the top, some artwork of this design, I guess. Which is crazy, because this wasn't even in the movie, so that's really cool. Uh, on the side here, you got Rumble, Studio Series, Core Class, and a bunch of different languages. On this side, this is cool. Like a halfway from like this to that, that's awesome. And then on the back here is just some, some product shots of Rumble there in his robot and alternate modes. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the box. And here's the figure. Little, little guy. Yeah. This is actually kind of wild. So yeah. Here is Core Class Concept Art Rumble, something I never thought would actually happen with this line. Um, so now that it is, there's so much that we need from Studio Series for concept art, I guess. So much that they could do with it now. Um, but yeah, so here is Rumble in his robot mode, you know, pretty cool uh, modern design for Rumble. I'm going to bring in the 86 Rumble, just as a, as a comparison here, I'll stand them up real quick. Because like, what? Like they're totally, like, if you told me this was Rumble, like I, th I would think this is from a whole nother, like, like, franchise, like I wouldn't even think this is Rumble. That's That's pretty cool. I like how they were able to change it from G1 to like live action. So yeah, taking him out, we'll bring him back in when we do comparisons and all that. Um, articulation wise, the head is on a ball joint. So depending on how you p have him posed, you can kind of look down, can't really look up, can look side to side. So that's pretty awesome. His shoulders here, he does have trigger happy shoulders, but I get it because he has the pile drivers for arms. Uh, they can do a full 360 and uh, there are hinges here, but that's for transformation. Uh, he does have hella ab crunch, so he can uh, just straighten that out, but I tend to have him usually hunched over here. Uh, the legs have probably the most articulation out of this whole thing, so he can bring them all the way up, all the way back, all the way out, and um, the knees are on ball joints, so he can bend them, and then the feet do go up again for transformation, but hey, if it's there, use it. Articulation, great. Uh, it doesn't have a waist joint, but, you know, again, he has that entire ab crunch thing going on. So, yeah. Pretty, pretty awesome for Little Rumble here. Accessory-wise, he has these guns here on his back, but uh, I'll show those more off when we get into transformation. So now for some comparisons, here he is with the Studio Series 86 Rumble. Again, totally different. So, yeah. And then here he is with the 86, uh, 86, pff, the Bumblebee movie Ravage. Now this guy was actually in the movie, as opposed to Rumble over here. And then finally, which I'm going to have to bring the camera up and push Rumble back for this. That's, that's way too high. Here he is with the uh, Legacy Soundwave. So, yeah. I don't have the Bumblebee movie sound movie yet, but he's on my list. So yeah, there you go. So now for transformation, we're going to go ahead and come back here and remove his little blasters here so you can get a better look at these. They literally look like car tools, which is actually kind of wild. You can see that one. And then there's this one. Oh, man, it just fell. Hold on, I got it. There you go. So yeah, so now we will get to transformation. So first thing you want to do is you want to come to his arms here and bring one hint on this first hinge up and then on the second hinge down. There's a little tab right here. It's going to go into a slot in there. So just bring that down, tab that in, and then bring, rotate it up like that. Come to his head here, rotate it around, and then do the same thing on this side that you did for the other arm. So just bring that up. Flip that 
down, rotate this around. Then you want to take his arms here and just bring them up like so. And then you're going to come to his feet here, flip up his toes, and then you're going to just move one leg out the way so you can come to this leg. And then you can bring his guns here. There's a slot on the inside of this one and a slot on his foot there. So you're going to plug that right there. And then again, a little peg in a, a port. And that one, that one just came off. So just tab that in. And then tab this one in. And then tab those in there. Like that. And then you're going to use this like ab crunch joint here and just bring this entire section up. And then flip this down. And there is core class rumble in his alternate mode. Literally the same as Ravage's. Just a, just a box. <laughs> so, yep. And speaking of Ravage, since there's literally not much to look at for his alternate mode, it's literally the same thing. But one thing I didn't point out was that he has the Decepticon insignias on the bottom of his pile driver, so that's pretty cool. Um, for comparisons, here he is with Ravage. They're, they're literally just folded <laughs> little boxes. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's, I mean, it works because they don't have like cassette modes, unlike uh, Mr. 86 Rumble here. You know, they don't, they do not have cassette modes like this. So, yep, there you go. There are your comparisons. So, there you have the Transformer Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Concept Art Decepticon Rumble. And I think this is pretty cool. You know, it's probably one of, uh, Kind of almost dethroned Tasmanian Kid as one of my favorite core classes, because this guy's just that cool. Um, even though his alternate mode is literally a cube, or a block, or whatever. But yeah. So, if you like what you saw, go and hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more from my channel, go and hit that subscribe button. And thank you all so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next Race Gaming Core video. Peace out, everyone.